Okay, so we've met uh, what it means for two events to be a conditional probability. So the probability of A, given that B has happened, is the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. What I want to talk about now is what if A and B are independent. So two events are called independent if one does not affect the other. So, um, for example, um, if I have two events, such as flipping a coin and drawing a king from a pack of cards, the two events are independent. Whether I get a heads or a tails on the flip of the coin will not affect the probability of me getting a king from a pack of cards. So that's what it means to be independent. For two events to be dependent upon one another, um, you can expect to be some, uh, something like um, the fact that it is uh, raining today. Um, would have an effect on the weather tomorrow. So the probability that it rains today will affect the probability that it rains tomorrow. Okay? So there are probabilities that do affect one another and therefore are known as dependent. And that is what is used with conditional probability. If, on the other hand, that if they are independent, then the fact that I've got the probability of A given that B has happened would then for mean that this would be the same as the probability of A. Because it doesn't matter whether B has happened or not. The probability of A given B would just be the probability of A. And so if this is just the probability of A, then that means if I multiply both sides by probability of B, then the probability of A times the probability of B is the intersection. And so, if two events are independent, then the intersection of A and B will be just the probability of A times the probability of B. Okay? This is, will show you if two events are independent. And it's if and only if. So that means if this is true, then they are independent, and if they are independent, then this is true, okay? And it's very important that you know that, and remember it for the exam.